Hey everyone, so it's been a long time since I posted anything and right now is the perfect time because I literally have nothing to do and nobody wants to talk to me. Which isn't different from without the coronavirus like epidemic, that's just a regular thing. But now I just have let more time because I don't have work. I know what everyone's looking forward to right now is General Conference. You know, this is supposed to be, you know, the very special, you know, edition of General Conference, you know. I'm definitely excited for General Conference because, you know, of the regular things, you know, receiving guidance, revelation, and just, I don't know, the, the funny things that happen during conference, you know, the, all the memes and that that comes out. But one of the big things I always love every conference is that there's always, like, rumors. There's always, like... Someone's always saying something's gonna be announced at General Conference, and that's what I want to kind of do. I want to do my own predictions, and these are like things that I think could legitimately happen, and maybe one day will happen. I'll give you some reasons why. So we'll start out with my first prediction. Right. The first prediction um, I think is that the year is gonna be kind of a leeway or change in like the YSA age, like ages for like attending the YSA right now it's like 31 but I wouldn't be surprised if it that's like variable like that's to like the bishop's discretion or they might change it to like 35 or something the big reason why is because I feel like especially our demographic which I fall in the millennial we're just getting married older so now there's like this weird like when you turn 31 like you're supposed to go to like the mid singles or just back to the family ward but i feel like a lot of people just don't enjoy that experience like, i was reading a book called the next mormons which showed research that um ysa members actually like dramatically stop going to church like at a rate um once they move from the ysa um to like mid singles around 31 32 especially if they're not married so I wouldn't be surprised if there's something like different, like something happens, like it's up to Bishop's discretion. I mean, kind of, it, it kind of is right now, but right now it's a pretty hard like line, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if that changes or something like that. My second prediction is uh, similar um, in when it comes to missionary service. I, I mean, there is already a lot of options for missionaries, but I think it's gonna get even more, like even more options, more like, like some like there you might be able to choose if you want to do like an 18 month mission you know for, even for like guys you know like not just because of like special like requests and stuff but it's gonna be an option um right now with this whole like pandemic you know a lot of missionaries have come home early and you know and that's something that you know the church did couldn't really like account for necessarily but I think moving forward, they're gonna see, they've already made, made so many like changes to like missionary service. And that's been kind of like what's happened in the past. Like missions have changed in varies of length. And I don't see why like it has necessarily be a very strict like two years for guys and a year and a half for women. Maybe if women wanna do a two year mission, they can choose that. Um, I don't know, I wouldn't be surprised if something like that happens. I, I really think it's something that um, I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet that you can kind of choose 18 months two years I they probably wouldn't push it more than two years but I don't know something like that if for men and women and the third uh, prediction is kind of a prediction but not a prediction um, I got to be part of this initiative uh, like a while back um, do you know how there's like the church has like the like the world and like meet the Mormons initiative well, I was be able, I was able to like kind of be part of like kind of secretly about this new initiative, and the initiative is really just reaching out to like those that aren't uh, members of our church and just sharing kind of our testimonies and like just a relationship with God. Not even oh, not I mean Jesus, you know, to a certain point, but really just like God. I think the church is realizing that there's still even a gap for people to like learn about Jesus when they don't even have a relationship with God first. So I think this initiative is supposed to kind of like um, help that and develop that and foster that kind of belief among anyone. Just a, like a, a, a talking about God and not making it so stigmatized and like di divisive as it is in a lot of places. Um, so 
Um, I don't know what the name would be or whatever, but it's just something I was able to kind of take part of for a little bit. I was kind of like interviewed for that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they announced that initiative this conference. If not, maybe it'll be next conference, who knows? I don't know. So yeah, those are my three predictions, but I also have my wild card predictions, which are not ever gonna come true, but I, if I was, if I was in charge, this is what I would do, okay? You know how the economy is like tanking right now due to, you know, the global pandemic? Well, I say we go back to like tithing, not just money, but like, like livestock, you know? Like if you, if you have like chickens, you know, if you have 10 chickens, you give a chicken, or, I don't know, if you have like 10 copies of like uh, Beauty and the Beast, then you give one of your copies to the church. Maybe they can put in the primary. I don't know what. But I think at some point we might have to switch over to uh, uh, instead of money and do uh, just like your belongings. Uh, just depending on how long this recession goes. My second wild guess would be uh, pre-blessed food. I think it would just make it much easier, you know, especially if you went to like the bishop's storehouse and you got food there, if like the person there like blessed it, blessed the food for you first. So when you got home, you didn't have to bless it again. You just straight up just eat it. I think that would just save everyone like a lot of time. And the third one obviously is like the new hymn book that's coming up. I think they, it'd be crazy if they announced, I wouldn't think, I don't think it would be that crazy either. But I think it'd be amazing if they announced one of Kanye West's songs from his gospel album to be in um, the new hymn book. I think that'd be great. I think that'd be amazing. There's a there. One of my favorite of his gospel album is Water. If they put Water in there, I think it would fit. I, I think we just I think we could get a little more soul in our in our churches. But whatever. Maybe not. Maybe 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 that's just a wild dream, which is fine. I don't care whatever that's why probably I'm not in charge so but yeah I hope you enjoyed this I hope uh, you guys have a good time watching conference and we'll see if these things come, if these things come true then maybe I'm not saying I'm a fortune teller but that I'm maybe a fortune teller so yeah have a good day if you like it if you like this video like follow share whatever um, and hope you stay safe you know wash your hands you know take it easy bye